Well, good afternoon. Um, got this old cabinet door come out of this rent house. It's all wore rotted now because the tenant and all his geniusness uh, or don't give a damnness um, took it out of the house and um, pulled it off the cabinet, took it out of the house and went out and stuck it in a hole in the fence to keep his dog from getting out. Get the crap you see in here. Anyway, it's all warped now, it's rotting and all the hardware is rusted. I didn't manage to get the uh, crap, the uh, latch off, but these screws are rusted and they're rounding off. So I'm gonna show you how to use the gravit. And I don't know, I'm still without a um, camera holder, except for me, myself and I. So this is a gravit and let's show you. I had it in another video. So you said you didn't understand, so it's a speed out. It's the pro, get the pro. Don't try to be a cheapskate and just get one and think it's going to work for all sizes because it's not. It'll work for a few sizes, but if you get the pro, voila. And I have no idea what this little deal is. I found it in my uh, catch-all Bosch carrying case and I have no idea where it came from or what it goes to. I just thought it went here, but oh well. Either way, it rides good. So anyway, can you see that? I've done kind of stripped it out with my, by the way, this is my favorite, one of my favorite tools. Linux, like, I don't know, 101 screwdriver thing. Uh, anyway, rabbit, squirrel, whatever. Um, anyway, surrounded over, so let's see if I can do this. Remember, it always goes in reverse. Now, you might have to, to uh, experiment with the hole depth on the thing. Because now I got past the rust, now I'm getting into a pretty hard to go. Can you see that? A little bit more if I can. It's hard to do with one hand. I put some pressure on it. Oh, look at there. Looky there. It come <laughs> it twisted it out. Um, twisted it off without even having to use the other end. So hey, it works for me because what this is is screws for a pull. And so that'll come right out. Alright. Now oops, almost laid you down there. Now I gotta see if I can get it off. Get off, get off. Oh, wow, I see what it is. It went right through the head. Yeah. Okay, well, that's how one way to use it. Um, I would have uh, used this other end. As you can see, it has threads on it going backwards. It would have unscrewed it. Come on, camera. Focus on the threads. Focus on the threads. Anyway. Anybody who's used this know what I'm talking about. It goes in reverse also. And that's just, that's just real nifty right there. That saved me a lot of work. So now I gotta get that. Oh, got it off, all right. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now these are flat screws. I hate flat screws. The guy who, or woman, whoever invented them. You can see. down but then again I have only one hand free there we go okay here we go again I'm putting a lot of pressure down on this so even with one hand it's big boys we got a little weight extra weight to spare there we go Oh, 
this one may be catching too. Well, there she went. <laughs> Didn't have to use that other end on either one of them. So anyway, hey guys, normally I would turn that around use this threads and then it would just spin it right out but not didn't have to do it this time uh drilled the heads right off so that's uh pretty good anyway guys this is i think i gave 20 bucks for this at lowe's a while back and it's one of my favorite most handy things i have you guys are saying well i'll try it it doesn't work for me read the directions most of y'all from what i've seen are using the wrong size so anyway Hey, maybe, I don't know, should I give you, there's my, one of my newest babies right there. I've had her about six months and y'all have, I'll get a review on this for y'all. But right now I've got to cut this panel down and get a new door made. So just part of, uh, part of being a handyman, get to do a little everything. There was a pallet the flooring came in on. 40 boxes of uh, lure flooring from uh, Home Depot. Probably have a video of that in the future on how to lay it down. And uh, so far, it's the first time I've laid a lure. And I, uh, I'm looking at the product. I'm liking it. So anyway, don't want to get too far off topic here. Some of y'all start complaining. Uh, like I really care. But anyway. Uh, hey, y'all have a good one. It's Saturday. Yes, I work on Saturday someday. So... Uh, Y'all have a good one. No, that's not that other sign that everybody seems to be doing. That's an A-OK -okay sign. Um, anyway, um, y'all have a good one. Hey, forget to like and subscribe. Hey, let's do this a little different. Like and subscribe. There you go. Look at my high Linux. I think it's probably a 10 in one. Like and subscribe. Check these other videos out up here someplace. Subscribe to the channel guys um, Got a lot of good stuff. Just like I said this this uh, Real-world review this ain't when I do a review on this. I've had it about six months now uh, This is that skill saw worm drive someplace in there worm drive uh, table saw and this ain't in a little Studio someplace around a couple one buys or two boxes and go oh, look uh, you buy this and uh, this this is a world world uh, review. All my reviews on tools that's out here in the field being used every day. So when I get around doing a uh, video on this, I think you're going to like it. Uh, I'm loving it. So anyway, um, check back later. Thank y'all. Donald Blue Collar DIY.com. We're out. Have a good weekend.